I'm going to show you how to write the speak method, which is how you're going to make this Mad Libs object speak and create sentences. We're going to go ahead and run this and see what the output looks like. So what this does is generate sentences, and these sentences follow a grammar, which we will look at. Let's first go ahead and look at how we might go about doing this. And we're going to be using sets here. Now, this is really close to the code I gave you. I just shortened it up a little bit. And it just adds to a regular set. It adds a method called random that will give you a random item out of it. And if there's nothing, if it's empty, size is zero, it'll return error set as empty. Okay, so I gave you some Mad Libs code. You have to initialize all the fields. So I already initialized Rand up here. We have to initialize the rest of these. So what I did is proper noun. They're all word sets, so proper noun is a new word set. So I initialized it. What I did next is I created a array of strings and I just put a bunch of names in. You do need to change the actual uh, names and other words that you put in. Um, I'll show you that back on the PowerPoint. And I did proper noun add all. You can't unfortunately add an array of strings. And so instead there's the array dot as list and it converts this to a list and then it allows you to add all of them in proper noun. It's one way to fill up a set quickly. Another way is just do it one at a time. So word, let's see, noun's my next word set. So I did that, and then you can just do noun.add, and you can add one at a time. You can do two or three per line, because it's pretty short. So that's the other way to fill up a word set. And I'll talk about the grammar next.